Hey there, I'm Hendrik from Hiking in Finland and today I want to take a look at the Backpacking Light Vapor BV. Yesterday I drove with my bike to the customs office to pick this up after around 9 days in transit and I thought that I would be very interesting to take a look together with you guys at this BV. It's not a lot of information out on the net about it and that's why I thought it could be really cool to share this first look uh, with you guys. I haven't used it yet so it's gonna be really just the first look, first impressions, uh, unpacking if you want so, but uh, I think it would be uh, of interest of some of you. Let's take a look. So the first thing one realizes when getting the Vapor BV is it's really tiny pack size so this is it fits with, in my hand with room to spare. It's around 14 centimeters long, around 12 wide and I would say around three to four centimeters thick. That's really small. I have a few BVs, but nothing packs as small as this. This is seriously tiny, and I was really impressed by this. The other question, of course, will be will I actually be able to pack it that small again after having used it a few times in the field? I've realized that sometimes with some pieces of gear that you get them very small but then if you try to pack them again that small it's you just don't manage to do so and and there's other thoughts about how do you pack it do you fold it or do you just stuff it in there so the BB is uh, 171 gram and the stuff sack it comes in is 3 gram which is really light it's the lightest BB I own there's by 30 grams or something the next one that I have is 30 grams heavier it's made of uh, Pertex Quantum so that's quite a familiar material. It's uh, windproof, there's waterproof, but it's of course not like water resistant. So if you plan to only take this BB and it might be rain, then take, take care that you're not getting completely wet. As you see, a very small packet. The quantum they used is the same. It looks like what they also used on the Kokon quilt and the Kokon clothing. Um, I like the color, it's uh, olive green and I think it's pretty. Oh, this is the long version because it was the sales and this was the only one available still and again after some thinking and discussing I came to the conclusion that the long might be the best option because it allows me to also use it in winter with a big winter sleeping bag. So this is how the BV looks rolled out. It looks it's a bit over two meters the long version and uh, well you will be reading these stats down there now around I think 60 to 70 wide I think what's very interesting is the zipper the I'm, I'm not a specialist on uh, those zipper sizes but it looks like there are or I know that there are smaller zippers available so I'm, I'm a bit surprised that there wasn't a smaller zipper used so by the look of it they didn't actually use a, a waterproof zipper so I don't know if it is really necessary but it could have been a, a nice feature the size of the mosquito netting is also very interesting I'm, I'm personally a friend of a slightly bigger uh, but I guess this will be fine and uh, yeah it has here a little loop for you can tie it out so that it the netting isn't on your face and also at the corners over here, over here, and at the foot end there's also tie-out points and here at the head too, so uh, it helps you to stake it out if you want to make it uh, close to the ground. That I always like, uh, I usually use little sticks that I find in the forest instead of taking some packs with me because packs are extra weight and sticks I usually can find in the forest, so there's no big deal with it. But uh, yeah, the material on the inside also looks very good. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is uh, a more waterproof bottom. So if you are prone to camping on wet ground, it should keep you dry there. But I guess that uh, with this kind of sensitive material, I usually put my closed cell phone mat underneath the BV, then I put my inflatable in there, put the quilt in there, and yeah, and everything else that comes in there with me. So usually a 
headlamp and a snack and maybe uh, my knife or something like that, clock, watch. So this is now the medium-sized uh, backpacking light cock-on quilt that I put on top of it. As you see, the colors are identical, which is nice, I think. I really like the color and it looks especially good in sunshine as, as we just have now. But let's, let's put the quilt in there and uh, see how it fits. So that's looking not too bad, I think. Uh, looks like plenty of space. I conveniently forgot to bring my closed cell phone mat and inflatable mat, which I usually take, so that's very practical, of course. But uh, I have no doubts that that would fit in there without problems. It looks like there's plenty of space for, for pads and me in there. Uh, now that I had a closer look at those zippers, I need to say that I could see that as a problem using two zippers. Of course the quality of those zippers is top notch, but with two zippers you always have an increased number of failing points. I really like just one zipper and I think that is usually the best approach. So. That could be a problem, but I, I don't think it will be, but uh, it's something to keep in mind. So to round things out, I thought it would be interesting to put the Vapor BV next to the Laufbursche Tyvek BV that I've been using pretty much extensively and exclusively in the last months. And uh, the Laufbursche is a bit longer and it seems at least as wide as it. It has only one zipper and it has a bigger head net and it is made of Tyvek so it's, it's super super breathable. I really love that BB. So the uh, Vapor BB is a, has a high benchmark to reach to, to let me replace the Tyvek BB. But uh, the Tyvek BB is a 205 gram which means it's around 34 grams heavier than the Vapor BB. So there's a good weight saving in there with the new BB and I'm very excited to see how the Vapor BB will be in use if it is uh, as breathable as it is claimed it is. So this was my first look at the Backpacking Light Vapor BB. I haven't used it yet, I hope to use it in uh, an upcoming bikepacking trip this week or weekend and then I probably will be able to say a bit more about it but of course to really say something about it, something like two weeks usage is what I expect from a review but so far I'm quite impressed as you see I managed to get it back into its stuff sack and uh, yeah excited in case you're now wanting to go and get one it's really bad because backpacking light closed its shop so they're not available anymore they're all sold out and if you're lucky you maybe are able to pick one up used which is probably also a lot cheaper than the $225 plus plus $30 shipping which I paid and if you look at this packing, uh, the packing size, the $30 shipping is, yeah, <laughs> questionable. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. If you have questions or comments, leave them down there. And uh, yeah, see you the next time. Bye.